Hello everyone. Welcome to our exploration of OpenTOFU. In this section, we will discuss what OpenTOFU is, why to use OpenTOFU and how it differs from Terraform. Let's get started. OpenTOFU is an infrastructure as code tool that enables you to safely and efficiently build, change and version cloud and on-premise resources. The first release of OpenTOFU was made in January 2024. The OpenTOFU project is part of the Linux Foundation. OpenTOFU is an open source project that aims to provide accessible and collaborative solutions to software development challenges. OpenTOFU is primarily written in Go programming language, also known as Golang, and its code compiles into a single binary. Before delving into the concepts of OpenTOFU, let's first understand one of its core principles, Infrastructure as Code or IAC, through an example. Let's imagine a busy tech hub called ABC Core with two main teams, the developers and the operations crew. Every day, the developers queued up with the requests spanning from we need a DB server with Oracle to two Linux servers for testing, please, and three servers with Tomcat installed ASAP. Guided by the ITIL standards, the operations team sprang into action. However, each request unleashed a torrent of manual tasks, configuring connections, jotting down endless steps, and navigating the convoluted maze of server setup. It was a laborious process, often consuming an entire day for just one request. And as soon as they completed one task, another landed on the desk, perpetuating the cycle of monotony with little room for innovation or growth. Yet, ABC Core's legacy setup had sufficed for years. Application upgrades occurred annually and customers were satisfied. However, the winds of change blew fiercely. The business landscape evolved rapidly, demanding swift adaptability. Waiting days for environment setup was no longer an option, especially for team under intense pressure from the customers to deliver with unwavering stability and agility. In response, ABC Core envisioned a transformative solution, Infrastructure as Code or IAC. Instead of manual process, they proposed harnessing the power of code-based files to provision and manage environments effortlessly. This shift from Notepad to Code offered a streamlined approach where teams could articulate their needs clearly and let the tools handle the intricacies. But this wasn't about complex scripts. It was about a declarative approach focusing on what is needed rather than the nitty-gritty how. ABC Core championed simplicity and efficiency, leveraging modern IT principles to revolutionize their operations. We understood that IAC is a declarative approach. We have two different approaches. One is imperative and the other is declarative. Let's examine the distinction between imperative and declarative approaches using the two different scenarios. In the first scenario, you're driving to a friend's house in a new city. As you approach an intersection, you roll down your window and ask a pedestrian for directions. They give you a series of turns to take and landmarks to look out for. You follow their instructions, occasionally stopping to ask for clarification from other people along the way. This process continues until you finally arrive at your friend's house, relying on human guidance at every step of the journey. In the second scenario, you're driving to a friend's house in a new city. Before you start your journey, you input your friend's address into Google Maps on your phone. The app calculates the best route based on the real-time traffic data and road conditions. It provides you with turn-by-turn -turn directions, including estimated arrival time and any potential delays. You simply follow the instructions provided by the app without the need to ask for directions from strangers. The entire process is streamlined, efficient, and relies on declaring your destination to let the technology handle the rest. In the first scenario, the traditional approach to driving, you might stop and ask people for direction as you navigate through unfamiliar streets. 
it's an imperative method where you actively seek guidance from others relying on their instructions to reach your destination. On the other hand, using Google Maps represents a declarative approach. Instead of asking people for step-by-step -step directions, you input your destination into the app and it generates a route for you based on the real-time data and algorithms. You simply declare where you want to go and the app handles the complexity of planning the best route for you. Here is a simple shell script which creates an EC2 instance. In the script, we specify how to create an Amazon EC2 instance, what commands and options to use, like AWS EC2 run instances, followed by various options like region, image ID, and more. That's called an imperative way of programming. However, on the right is a more declarative approach where we achieve the same results with only few lines of open tofu code showing the declarative way of programming. Notice how much simpler the code becomes. Let's explore why OpenTofu is important and what's happening with Terraform. Terraform was developed in July 2014 by HashiCorp, a company that has also created tools like Packer, Vagrant, Vault, Console, and Nomad. Terraform rapidly dominated the market and gained widespread popularity. Now, you might be wondering, if Terraform is so popular, why is learning OpenTofu important? Let's delve into this by answering some frequently asked questions. Now, let's begin with the biggest question. Is OpenTofu different from Terraform? The answer is no. OpenTofu is the fork of Terraform. Right now, OpenTofu version 1.6.x is almost the same as Terraform 1.6.x in what it can do. But in the future, that might change and become more different. At the beginning, OpenTofu was made by a bunch of organizations working together like Gruntworks, Spacelift, Hardness, Masterpoint, and others. And it's worth mentioning that OpenTofu joined the Linux Foundation on September 20th, 2023. As time passes, OpenTofu might grow and change, showing its unique features and ideas compared to Terraform. The next question might be, why OpenTofu over Terraform? Initially, Terraform was released as an open source project. However, in August 2023, HashiCorp announced a sudden transition to a non-open source license known as BUSL. This license makes the source code available, but does not classify it as open source, imposing various limitations on its use. OpenTofu is designed to serve as a seamless replacement for traditional Terraform. It is entirely open source, ensuring unrestricted access and usage. Next in the list are OpenTofu goals. OpenTofu's goals are to be truly open source, community-driven, impartial, layered and modular, and backwards compatible. It aims to operate under a well-known and widely accepted license governed by the community for the community. Additionally, it encourages a programmer-friendly project structure to facilitate building on top and foster a vibrant ecosystem of tools and integrations. Will OpenTofu work with my existing state file? For users already utilizing Terraform and considering a migration to OpenTofu, a common concern is compatibility with existing state files. The good news is OpenTofu seamlessly integrates with existing state files supporting those created with Terraform version up to 1.5.x. Later in this course, we will provide guidance on migration process. Is OpenTofu production grade? Absolutely. OpenTofu is production grade, fully equipped to handle a wide array of production use cases with utmost reliability. OpenTofu stands out for several compelling reasons. OpenTofu at its core is a powerful open source software and can be used absolutely free. 
backed by industry giants such as Hardness, Gruntworks, Spacelift and Masterpoint, Open Tofu thrives on community-driven development, leveraging diverse perspectives for continuous improvement and unparalleled strength. Under the Linux Foundation, Open Tofu benefits from the legacy of fostering stable open source project, instilling confidence in a long-term viability and cementing its position as a software development leader. Migrating from Terraform to Open Tofu is a streamlined process facilitated by its robust backward compatibility. Organizations heavily reliant on Terraform can effortlessly migrate to Open Tofu, seamlessly integrating it with existing workflows without disruption, thus empowering continued innovation and growth. Open Tofu's simple declarative configuration language simplifies code composition offering a user-friendly alternative to complex scripting. This accessibility accelerates development, empowering teams to execute tasks swiftly and efficiently. OpenTofu values community-driven contributions over vendor bias, guaranteeing its alignment with user needs and priorities, fostering a dynamic platform tailored to its users' evolving demands. Let's explore some of the key use cases for OpenTofu. OpenTofu transforms infrastructure as code using code-based configuration files for easy provisioning, management, and deconstruction of crucial components like servers, disks, and networks. Declaring these elements unlocks seamless maintenance and efficient versioning. Configurations can be readily shared and reused, promoting collaboration and streamlined deployments for unprecedented efficiency and productivity. While AWS CloudFormation, Azure Resource Manager templates and Google Cloud Deployment Manager are effective, they are restricted to their respective cloud providers. OpenTofu, however, is platform agnostic offering a unified solution across any cloud platform. Managing a heterogeneous environment across different clouds can be time-consuming and complex with individual tools. OpenTofu saves time, guarantees consistencies, and simplifies management. OpenTofu transforms application environment creation by consolidating servers, storage, load balancer, and more into a single bundled configuration. With OpenTofu, dependencies are seamlessly handled, ensuring a cohesive and efficient deployment process. Once the infrastructure is provisioned, OpenTofu seamlessly integrates into CI-CD process, becoming the backbone of continuous deployment. OpenTofu's effortless integration with configuration tools like Ansible further enhances its power, providing users with a comprehensive solution. OpenTofu smoothly integrates with tools like Sentinel, a powerful policy as code framework. This collaboration enables team to enforce policies on resource provisioning, ensuring compliance and security. OpenTofu empowers organizations by simplifying the deployment and management of Kubernetes clusters. It orchestrates the complexity of managing containerized applications seamlessly, ensuring they scale reliably without any unnecessary complications. OpenTofu serves as a sophisticated orchestrator, simplifying resource management across diverse platforms like AWS, Oracle Cloud, and VMware Virtual Machines. Here is how it works. We install OpenTofu on our local laptops, desktops, or virtual machines, transforming them into the pivotal hub for streamlined resource management. Rather than executing tasks manually, we articulate our objectives in infrastructure as code files. These files are then submitted to OpenTofu. OpenTofu communicates with various infrastructure as service platforms such as AWS or Oracle Cloud or a variety of platform as a service and software as a service platforms through specialized add-ons known as plugins. These plugins serve to equip OpenTofu with the comprehension of each platform's distinct protocols, facilitating seamless integration and operation. Upon establishing connectivity, 
open tofu orchestrates the creation and administration of resources such as servers or databases or any other services on those platforms in accordance with infrastructure as code based approach despite of success or failure status open tofu meticulously records the specifics of these managed assets as metadata which it will use in future for reference breaking down the process into three pivotal steps we begin with the creation of iac files generally known as write phase in this initial phase we specify the required resources outlining our infrastructure requirements next upon submission of iac code to open tofu the platform initiates communication with providers these providers in turn establish connections with the respective platforms such as aws or oracle cloud together they collaborate to devise a comprehensive plan detailing the creation and management of specified resources finally with the plan solidified open tofu executes the outline steps seamlessly deploying resources across our platforms this phase is termed as apply while we have highlighted three key steps there are more crucial ones in the process we will delve into the comprehensive workflow in detail in our upcoming lectures in essence open tofu provides organizations with a top notch tool to manage complex infrastructure setups across different environments it streamlines process by handling all the technical details of each platform behind the scenes it's crucial to stay updated by learning directly from the official website since we can expect open tofu to consistently update their content their documentation is not only comprehensive but also user friendly providing valuable insights throughout the course we will rely on this documentation as our primary reference ensuring we are aligned with the latest developments and the best practices